Hi, please excuse my messy room and how run down I look. Um, I received my order today from Grishko um, of the Grishko Miracle, which is a shoe here. You may have seen it. It's um, kind of high tech shoe and my usual custom Grishko Maya. Um, I've never worn the Miracle before and I just wanted to do a video about it in case there's people out there who want to know the difference to a standard point shoe or of a Grishko shoe. Um, first off, it's made with a special insert to absorb sound and the shoe has improved structure and basically they're ready, ready to wear because they have like a unique glue and they have like silver particles in the lining which are meant to protect your feet from bacterial infections which is pretty cool. Now if you're a Gainer Minden wearer or you've worn the Gainers before, they remind me of those in the sense that they're quite high tech looking and quite sleek and they also um, feel very lightweight. Now I don't like gainers myself, I never have gotten on with them, um, but just wanted to say that you know if you wear gainers you might actually like these. Um, I got mine custom, I got the vamp made a little bit shorter, 1.4 centimeter shorter to be precise, but I think I may have gone too short, but we'll soon find out when I wear them. Um, here is a 2007 standard one, um, take no notice of the vamp because I have cut the vamp down on this one a bit but as you can see um, the Miracle is meant to have been made on the 2007 last personally I don't find that to be very true I mean it might just be my eyes but they look to me quite different and they are, they are the both same the same size apart from the width um, the 2007 compared to the Miracle um, to me are different in the following ways. The 2007 is a lot harder in the box and these are like dead shoes. Um, also I find the 2007 standard, well I know this for a fact, this is actually wrote on the website. Can you see the heel height? Um, the 2007 heel height is higher. Now personally I found the 2007 heel height to be quite low anyway. So next time I order these Miracles, I'm going to get the heel height a little bit higher. But it's really nice, especially if you've got narrow heels, because it's very smooth and sleek, as you can see. The vamp is round, as you can see. I prefer a V-vamp. Now here's Maya, and it has a V-vamp. I like that. So next time I will order it with a V-vamp, because I personally find it more flattering. And the box on the Miracle is flat, I find, and it's... Um, it's not as tapered as the 2007 in my opinion. I don't think so anyway. And if you compare it to the Maya, the Maya is meant to be less tapered than the Miracle. But personally, I find by looking at the comparison here that the Maya actually looks more tapered than the Miracle. So, whatever. Um, the profile height is, is low. It's, um, I think, lower than the standard 2007 but I'm not sure not too much difference it's definitely lower than the Maya but we know that anyway because the Maya is meant to be a medium profile shoe so I'm just going to compare show you there look look at that height the height on the Maya is a lot higher um, in profile than the Miracle now I've got a low profile foot but I find I can wear the Maya comfortably Hence why it's been a shoe of choice for me. The platforms um, on, let's compare 2007 to Miracle. So as you can see, I think personally, the Miracle looks a bit more narrower in the platform than the standard 2007. And even looking at them here, I'd say so too. But they're still quite a nice round platform and good balance. Um, compared to my Maya, of course they're going to be different because they're both different shoes, but I just wanted to show you anyway. Um, this is Maya, and that's Miracle. So let's just show you there. As you can see, Maya has a much bigger platform because, again, it is a semi-tapered shoe and it has a higher profile, so of course the platform will be bigger. Um, other things I mentioned, um, they're very soft and comfortable like really really comfy, so comfy in fact that I just wear an advanced toe pad with mine 
Now, when I wear my Myers or any other shoe, I always wear a little gel toe sock on my big toe by Dance Tex with an advanced toe pad over the top. Um, I can't get away with just a toe pad. I can like an ouch pouch, but I prefer to wear advanced toe pads. You may find, however, that you can wear absolutely nothing in this shoe. So I do recommend you go for a fitting if you're gonna buy this shoe or you know exactly what kind of measurements you're gonna need by speaking to someone who's an expert. Um, I've gone for an X width because I've got a narrow foot and these are a 4.5 X. When I order Maya, I get one shoe in a four, one shoe in a 4.5 and both in X width because my right foot is slightly smaller and I can't really get away with it in Myers. I find there's a big difference, but with 2007 I can definitely wear um, a 4.5 on both feet. Um, in an X width, I would say these actually feel almost a little bit wider than the standard X in a 2007. I don't know how much truth there is behind that. The only downside is, is the shank in the Miracle is comes in light medium, or medium hard and there's no other shanks available now that kind of sucks because like medium I would have thought would feel quite more like a medium however the shanks are very soft if you can see this look look how soft that is that to me is almost like a pro flex in a Grishko um, I've worn like super soft soft um, pro flex medium and I've tried on hard in Grishko shanks and I would say the shank in this is gonna die very quickly. So if you've got a higher arch or a stronger foot, then I would recommend going for the medium hard. But again, that milk might still be quite soft. So maybe an ideal shoe if you need something to wear straight off and you don't wanna worry about breaking it in. The demi point is also extremely soft. Now, bear in mind, I get my shoes made with an easy demi point. It's called an easy roll through when you order them. And this actually feels in the demi point a lot harder than this. So it goes to show they are an excellent shoe because if you want to wear something quickly and you can't be bothered to break it in, fantastic. Um, the box itself is, is quite squidgy. It reminds me of a Grishko Triumph. Grishko Triumph was also made with a special glue and they're a lightweight shoe. And again, this feels very lightweight compared to a normal 2007. So yeah, all in all, once I've worn these to class, maybe do another video for you. But next time round, I will probably order them with a bit more of a higher vamp, um, definitely a V vamp maybe a slightly higher heel, and maybe try the medium hard shank. If you are gonna wear these shoes, I would probably say it's best off to alternate pairs and wear a standard point shoe, um, because they are really comfortable, but you don't wanna to get too used to the comfort. You wanna make sure your feet are still gonna be able to wear a normal point shoe and not get too battered. So definitely um, keep wearing other shoes too. Now these retail I think around 70 British pounds if you're buying in the UK. Um, I order mine online through Dance Choice um, because they're cheaper and I get free postage and generally they take, my orders take about two to three weeks to be made and usually they arrive one week after being post posted but sometimes I get stuck in customs and I can wait anything like two to three weeks so just be aware of that. But I do recommend that you do go and get fitted for them. Um, I was quite alright because I knew roughly um, what I'm aiming for and my sizing and I've custom shoes, I've had custom order shoes before and I knew how I fit in a 2007 so that was a rough guideline for me. But yeah, I do recommend trying to find a stockist and get fitted in these or email an expert. Thanks and please subscribe to my channel and if you have any ideas about future videos, please leave a comment in the box below and I'll do what I can. Thanks, bye.